Hi, Kirsty Young here. Today I'm going to show you our pepper harvest from our indigenous Tasmanian pepper berries. I'll show you how many berries we harvested from our five four-year-old plants. I'll show you how we dried them. I'll show you how I dried them and how long it took. And finally, I'll show you how many berries you need for a one-year supply for a family of four. The berries keep very well on the bush for a long time. These have been sitting here, black and ready for harvest for about six weeks, but I notice some of them are starting to dry out. So today's the day we're going to harvest them. I've been a little bit distracted by the apple harvest, which has been going on. The easiest way to harvest the berries is to put something underneath. And just rub them all so they fall into the bowl. You get a lot of stalks and things as well, and sometimes leaves, but that's okay. If you can sit your bowl on the ground, it's a lot quicker to use two hands. Some of the berries end up on the ground outside the range, but that's okay. I have one male plant as well, so these should all be fertile, so if they decide to grow, I'm happy with that. I have one male plant to five females. This is my best producing plant. It's it's third year of production and we'll see how much the yield is this year when we go back inside. As you can see they're quite hardy. You don't have to be gentle with them unlike if you were picking peaches or something like that, a soft fruit thing. The leaves are edible as well, they're also peppery, not quite as peppery as the berries themselves. So if you were growing them and wanted to have your own pepper while you're waiting for the harvest, your first harvest, you could easily eat the leaves as well. We waited about three years for our first harvest. Here's the harvest of pepperberries, 2.59 kilograms. I have them on a towel on the floor in the sunroom, which is the warmest room in the house. Every day I'll move them around so they get even drying. I expect they'll take about a week to dry, depending on the weather outside too, of course. The pepperberries are drying on a towel in my sunroom, which gets very warm during the day. This is how I turn them. There's a bit of moisture there. I haven't seen that before. There's a bit there too. Once they're turned, I just spread them out again. I do this every day twice a day if I think about it. They've been drying for a week now. When I first brought them in, they were in piles still. But now as they're drying, there's a lot more space, or more room rather, for them to sit without being on top of each other. These berries are still nearly full size. They haven't really started the drying yet. You can see a little bit of shriveling. These berries are well and truly on their way to drying 
and are about what size they're going to be at the end of the, the drying cycle. You might think you have a lot of berries to start with, but when you compare the dried berry to the fresh berry, it's quite a difference, with a difference in volume as well. It has been two weeks and this is what they have dried to. They are still a little bit soft to touch. I'll put them onto a plate and just finish them off maybe for another week. I've only been spreading them once a day because that's all I get around to. The moisture is not collecting under the towel anymore since I opened the window up for it to get away. Plus the fact that their drying has helped as well. I'll put them in this plate now to finish drying off. Here's some of the detritus uh, left over from the towel, bits of stem, etc. that I managed to separate. And here we have the berries now. Quite a bit smaller than the whole towel full that I started with. So here we have the finished product. They only needed another three days to finish drying. But they've been sitting here all week until I get time to do something with them. Here they are. Now it's time to get them in a jar. So here are the final sizes that we ended up with. Some were quite large, almost the size of the fresh berry itself, whereas others are really small. So here's the final product. Now, what started out as 2.59 kilograms of fresh berries is 650 grams of dried berries. So they've dried down to about a quarter. I didn't end up getting all of the bits and pieces out. I'll do that as we go along. This represents about four years worth of pepper in our house for a family of four. I find the berries quite hard. Our pepper mill isn't very strong, so I break them up a bit in our Thermomix. You could do the same with a blender, and then they get finished off in the pepper mill. If you had a really good quality pepper mill, you could probably put the whole berries into that. <laughs> 